What is up guys and gals, it's me Thomas Fan one here, and today we are going to be taking a look at something that I was not expecting to find over the weekend, but um, but this actually comes courtesy of Planet Toys. Um, they compensated me for going out and doing a flea market for them that did not yield as much profit as they possibly possibly wanted to, and this is also a slight gift for going to TFCon LA and picking up some product for them. So, um, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Toxitron Collection. Generation 2 Grimlock, uh, leader class Generation 2 Grimlock. Now, just to be preface here, uh, this is a repaint of the uh, Studio Series 86 version. Um, and if you do have Wheelie uh, or Daniel with the two of, with uh, either Slug or Grimlock, you can um, put you can use them on this figure. So. Yeah, um, in terms of the packaging here, I do like the leader class packaging for G2 Grimlock. I do like this one. This is this is probably the only Toxitron collection figure I'm going to keep, so I do like it. On the back here, you got the Toxitron symbol. You got the Generation 2 Autobot logo right here, G2 Universe Grimlock, and it shows you what he would have looked like. Now, the product photos do not accurately descript or show or properly show what his uh, crotch panels look like, and I'm not trying to focus on that. Because uh, we do not want to look at the Grim Crotch, but we want to look at the paint of it. Because there is something that is up with this with this uh, waist section, this crotch section here that goes on, that cannot be fixed, cannot be done. There's nothing I have figured out to figure out why on earth they did not brighten up the paint job on this, but there's nothing I can do about it. So, moving the packaging off to the side, I'm going to bring the... Once again, the neon puke inducing colors of Generation 2. And I do apologize for the flickering lights. My light, my ring light is about to go out. If you subscribe to my channel, that helps me support keeping this studio somewhat alive, you know, so please do that down below if you could. That'd be awesome. But this is Generation 2 Grimlock, and I gotta be honest, I, I like it, but I don't like it. I like it because it's not something you see every day. You don't just go running around a toy store and see a neon yellow or a banana yellow with lep with like stripe with tiger stripes on there within like turquoise. It's turquoise is what's killing me about this. And a clear see through uh, a clear see-through neck and uh I don't know what like I don't know why on earth they decided to make the neck see-through and didn't just, you know, continue to keep the rest of it like this. But I never saw the original G2 toy. I never really cared to. It's not my thing. But I like this. This is this is a nice little refresh of the figure. And uh, real quickly, uh, the gun is the exact same as the one that came with the Studio Series 86 version. Um, so basically with it, there are two tabs here that you're going to put into these two slots here if you want to store it. If you want to store this in dyno mode, which you don't have to, but it's recommended that you do so. So you can either store it there or if you're like a weirdo, like if you're a weirdo like me, you can take it and you can just there's a spot on this figure somewhere where you can like just totally slip this over over this I, I can't remember where it is but it might be on the robot mode where you have to get into in robot mode but it's been a minute since I've taken a look at the studio series 86 version so but um, we're gonna remove this off to the side and it is blast effects compatible yes it is it is blast effects compatible so, if you want to just take your blast effects here, I got the one from the Studio Series 86 2 pack. And you can just take this and um, here's this one. We'll remove that. And uh, here we, here's the other one. We'll remove these. You can just take them and you can just plug them onto the front, like so. So that way, now they, now he has a gun with blast effects. Right. So, now there's that. We're going to remove those off to the side. Uh, we're going to show off one feature that he does do does have in dyno mode. Uh, he can open his jaw all the way, and there is a port on in there as well, because if because he can also take these as well, and you can shove them into his mouth, and so he can be breathing fire or blasting you. Either one. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, though, this is a feature that only exists on this one. I don't know that it exists on the other one. I haven't taken a look at it in a hot minute, so. If it does exist, then hooray. If it doesn't, whatever. 
but anyways, close you back up, straighten you back out. And now that we've taken a look at him in the dino mode, or what is to be the dino mode, we're going to take a look at him in scale comparisons, because y'all know we love our scale comparisons. So without further ado, here he is with the original Studio Series 86 Grimlock. And honestly, I, I the, the paint on this one is much more prominent than this one. But this one has a more brighter color. This one's more dull. So here he is next to the other Studio Series Leader Grimlock, Age of Extinction version to be specific. Here he is with our previous Legacy review. Here he is with Animated Prime with the extended battle axe. Looking like he's about to go do some Dinobot hunting. And just because here he is with the pre one of the previous leader classes in the other previous lines, here he is next to R.I.D. Scourge. Now we gotta get in, get on going into the transformation. Now the transformation is exactly the same as the as the uh, Studio Series eighty six version, just different paint, different all that other stuff. So, start off, we're going to come to the these Dino arms here. We're going to take them, we're going to bring them in like that, and we're going to angle them like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Bring it down, and just angle it like that. Then you're going to come to this Dino head. You're going to take it, bring it up. And just going to leave that there for now. And then we're going to come to the back section of the tail. And we're going to split it. Just just, just split it. That's all you're going to do. You're not going to separate. You're just splitting it. Then you're going to take this bottom piece. You're going to open it up on this hinge. Like so. And then you're going to fold the legs all the way. Okay. Don't, don't fold the legs all the way down. Going to then come to these pieces here, and if I can get this to split, split them out like so. Then take this chest piece after you've taken the head and flipped it all the way up. Take the chest piece, bring it all the way up like so. And then you're going to come back down to the legs, and they're they are on a slider hinge, so they are going to slide in when they are come in contact with this piece here. So it's going to bend and slide, and then it's just going to clip on in there loosely a little well maybe not loosely but just enough come to the tail take it accordion it down then take it and close it up on the back of the calf and then take the bottom of the heel spur and bring it all the way down and there you have a leg all done next one is exactly the same bring it down there's a little clip right on in here it's going to clip onto the tab like so take this just rotate it back down close that back up fold up the heel spur and we're almost done we are seriously almost done almost done people take the take the head of the dinosaur and bring it all the way back once again make sure these pieces are kind of just folded downward a little bit they don't have to be out they don't have to be do they don't have to do a ton but then i like to take these and make sure that the dino feet and dino feet are you know kind of flayed outward a little bit more so that way they kind of look like something like th somewhat like this so then you can take the hand and flip it out just on the inside here just gotta take it and flip it out take the dino legs do the whole thing on the other side and straighten it out straighten it out hold on we're not done yet people we're not done yet folks definitely not done yet take the gun and you just do that and there you go there is legacy g2 grimlock in his robot mode and honestly i don't hate this i don't hate it but i also don't love it i don't love it because i mean obviously the bright colors are just like yeah just bleh. but the one thing i do want to make notion here is this crotch panel and this waist section um why did you guys like cover all this up this is a bright purple if you had shown this in advertising maybe it would have sold better i don't know but anywho, um, basically in terms of the robot mode, I mean, 
it definitely cleans up a little bit. I mean, like for example, here we've got a nice like we've got a nice silver head sculpt with the uh, turquoise looking eye eye vision here. I will say this: they still gave him a regular Autobot symbol. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give him a they didn't give him a generation two symbol they gave him a regular old autobot symbol no no problems with that at all but whatever um i totally and totally like i'm digging this robot mode but i'm also not digging this robot mode because if we take studio series 86 back in here you'll notice underneath uh this and it's kind of hard to see but underneath there is a look there's a there is a faint detailed Autobot logo in there. Well, in order to somehow cover that up for this guy, they just put it, they just printed the, printed it, printed on a different decal. And look, the emblem is still there. You can clearly still see it. It was de it was literally like picked out and never touched again. Why would you do that? So anywho, um, another place you can store his weapon in uh, robot mode is on his back and it involves his arms so if i'm not mistaken you take this arm here and or uh these arms and it has to fit into these onto the uh, smaller part of the arm it can't work on any other part and then you just take it and untab it and and or if you want to you can also take it and just peg it here not very well but you can so there you go but as we all know Grimlock is going to hold him. Now, if you're also curious, yes, Wheelie can totally sit on his shoulder as well, just like the other Grim Grimlock there. So if we bring them both in on here, take Wheelie, you got a peg on his thigh, on the back side of his ass, take it, just shove him onto the shoulder piece there, and there you go. Wheelie does do what Wheelie advertises. So, Anywho, once again, back into scale comparison, here he is with uh, Studio Series 86 Grimlock. Here he is next to Age of Extinction Leader Class Studio Series Grimlock. <clears throat> Honestly, though, this guy's a beast. So, here he is next to our previous review, uh, Legacy Review. Here he is next to Legacy Animated Prime. And finally, here he is next to Legacy R.I.D. Scourge. So somehow they gave him the Generation 2 Autobot logo, but they failed to give him the Generation 2 logo. I don't know. I don't know why that's the case, but... Anywho. Now it's time to rank this figure. Where do, what do I rank this figure? Well, I'm going to put it to you. I'm going to put it to this. I would rank this figure... So if I'm solely going based off of the mold alone, the mold alone is already a perfect 10. But because I have to factor in the paint, I have to factor in the accessories, I have to factor in the line, I have to factor in all of these things, it severely diminishes this figure. Now, do I like G2? Not really. I'm not a big fan of it. Am I a big fan of repaints? No. But am I a big fan of this mold? Absolutely. I do like this mold. This mold's not so bad. It's not the worst thing on the planet. Um, at, at the very least, you won't have to worry about yellowing. You know, just saying. But anyways, um, I'm going to have to rank this a... I'm going to rank it a 6.8. I'm going to give it a 6.8. I'm giving it a 6.8 for originality. I'm giving it a 6.8 for the fact that they chose a pretty good mold for this and they didn't start from the ground up. I'm going to give it a 6.8 for the fact that the... They did not give us uh, another wheelie, which I'm kind of happy about. But at the same time, they could have totally reworked that into a different character. Um, I'm I also am giving it a 6.8 because why would you like totally cover up this whole bright purple waist section? That's the funniest thing ever. It, it's like I'm looking right at an 80s at an 80s workout video right here. That's what I feel like I'm looking at. So, anywho. Um, 6.8 is where the review stands on this guy. So, anywho, this is Thomas Fan one saying, do not forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to check out Planet Toys, a world built by collectors, where I will leave a link in the description down below to them. And you can, if, if you can, if you sign up with them, and the, um, 
you can get a 10% discount with them if you sign up. So I suggest you guys do that. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below. So anywho, this is Thomas Fan of One saying, don't forget to check out Optination Reviews, Beastman Reviews, Riveted Reviews, Jordy's Rail Videos, iStar552, Bravely GG, and Take Along Productions, oh, along with along with Patrick with a Y. So don't forget to check them all out, and don't forget to check out my other Transformers reviews, which I will leave a link to that entire playlist down below. And this is Tom Stone one for the final time saying, do not forget to keep playing with your toys. Don't forget. Goodbye.